Hello everyone, my name is H Timbers, and welcome back to Persona 5. Alright, so, last gameplay video, we did this whole thing called Operation Maywatch, and long story short, we found out our teacher was made. Yeah. But anyways, we're gonna continue on with this. Okay, so I see we can level up with Ryuji, so let's go see him. Hey man, What's up? Ugh. I'm really not digging all this sitting crap today. Sitting around crap. By the way. Hey, um, do you remember that guy Imachi I was talking about before? Uh, the mini Kamoshida? Yeah, that's him. Well, he's gonna be the new track team advisor. He don't give a rat's ass about the sport though, or even the students. So you see, I heard this rumor. Apparently he's got in trouble at school before with his drinking, but that hasn't kept him from going out. I was thinking maybe he'd let some shit slip when he's drunk. We should totally try and tell him sometime. I'll look into where he goes to drink. What's the plan for today though? You wanna train with me? Uh, yeah, let's hang out. Let's get changed then. We can meet at, uh, hmm, someone's gotta be open. Let's try looking around. At school. Alrighty. Hmm. Man, we really don't got a good place to train, huh? I mean, we'd probably run into Nakalka and then if we stuck around here. You got any ideas? Uh. Hmm. We can train at my place. You seriously think we'd get any training done there? I bet we'd just end up eating ice cream playing video games all day long. That just kind of, that's just kind of what happens, you know? Eh, I guess it won't hurt to peek around the gym. If they ain't here, maybe we can... Whoa. Akalka? Takeshi, the hell are you guys doing? We just have a few questions for Nakalka here. It's none of your business. So what? You gonna ask him questions with your fists? And anyways, ain't a three on one kind of cowardly. The only coward here is Nakalka. All the shit Kamashita put us through is his fault. He was telling that bastard secrets about us the whole time. What? Huh? That's a load of bull. Uh. Th this is no time for arguing. Y yeah, I mean the track. I mean the track team's coming back, so you don't gotta fight. Sh shut up! I'm telling you, this piece of shit sold us out. How do you think Kamashita found out about your parents, Kamato? He's gotta be a snitch. Whoa. H hold up! Out of the way, Kamato. We'll beat the shit out of you, too, if we need to. <sighs> if you think that's gonna make you feel better, go for it. But you're gonna wish you didn't. Oh shit. Trust me, it feels real bad looking back on shitty stuff you've done. Huh? Look. Even if Nakaokyo was working with Kamashita and fine now, the bastard's gone, so you guys can just put this crap behind you. There's no reason to fight, yeah? We can't keep people around who are gonna try and undermine our team. But I didn't do anything. I wasn't working with Kamashita. No matter how much you hit me, my answer's gonna stay the same. Oh yeah? We've got proof. Yamauchi told us all about it. Huh? Yamauchi? Come on, Takeshi. We gotta get out of here. It'd be real bad if anyone else showed up. Akalka, shit like you isn't welcome on our new track team. You better remember that. <sighs> you okay? The hell was all that? Just stay out of this, Sakamoto. That has nothing to do with you. Well, talk about ungratefulness. But, when you hit Kamashita, you were really hitting all of us who tried so hard to endure his bullshit. You might have felt relieved, but it only made life harder for us. Because of you, we lost the one place we could vent our frustrations. The one place we could really belong. Tensions got pretty high after that, and things have just been kind of rough from then on. You really think it's all fine now, huh? Well, what if I told you they're right about me? Would you still think it's fine if I was the one who told Kamashita about your parents? <sighs> yeah. If you told them, you told them. I'm over all that stuff with my parents anyway. Hey. Besides, I realized something, Nakalka. I might have messed up with Kamashita back then, but hanging on to the past ain't gonna help anything. 
Yeah, that is true. I'm just gonna focus on being myself now. On being free. What are you talking about? Free, huh? Haha. <laughs> hey. Harold, get what I'm trying to say, yeah? Absolutely. Right. He's the one who wasn't making any sense. Hmm. I guess being free is like... It's like how I feel when I'm talking to you, man. Uh, can you explain that? Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. I just feel free. I really don't understand. <laughs> what, we stuck on repeat or something? <laughs> I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. Oh. Harrison recovery. Chance to cure stats and limbs to flick their pump party mode. Alright. Alright. Man, that was some funny shit. So much for training though. Huh? Come on, let's, let's get out of here. Ooh, we should grab ramen on the way home. Okay then. Evening. Ooh. Ah, you're back. Another message. Hey, so are we boned if this legal action goes through? Marame is a well-known individual. The police will surely move fast on his request. We will be arrested and worst comes to worst, sent to some sort of juvenile hall. hall. But I thought you said it didn't seem like he'd actually go through with it. That is true, he's been bedridden since we went through with it, after all. Honestly, though, it's difficult to even tell if he's actually undergone a change of heart. I guess we'll just have to wait until he recovers. I don't feel good about that. I will contact you all at once if anything happens. Would that work for you? That'd be great. Very well, I will try to keep a close an eye, as close an eye on modern office state as possible. Well then, see you. I wonder if that Yoshida guy is giving a speech in Shibuya again. Uh, I guess. Hold on, the, the phone. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, let's do it. Guts or staunch. Oh, what? Bullshit. Alright, let's head to Station Square. Alright. Okay. There have been far too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The runaway train incident, mysterious psychotic breakdowns, a school with corrupt teachers. We have yet to discover the truth of it all. The apathy that permeates society is a direct result of negligence by our government and the media. Hey, about Yoshida's speech skills, we shouldn't make use of them when you negotiate with the shadows. Uh, good idea. Right, you should ask them. Hmm? Teach you how to give speeches? Why? Um... I want to do what you do. I'd love to help you, though. How sh shall I teach you? It's time for my speech. Let's talk about this later. Alright, then. Give it your all. And while our society appears to be prosperous, many of our young people are quietly suffering. Mm -hmm. They lack jobs, security, savings. True. The next generation will lead us into the future. And yet they have no plan for how to arrive there. Yeah. Watch where you're going, you little shit. What? You bumped into me, you old goat. Damn. This isn't good. Uh. Let's mediate. Yes, let's. Uh-huh. Good citizens, please stop fighting. Yeah, you tell them. What is the point of bickering over such a trivial matter? This is none yeah. of your business! Yes, yeah, seriously, just shut up. Damn. What's with this guy? Oh. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must return to my speech. Together, oh. we can create a bright future for the next generation. Yeah! God, so righteous. That really annoys me. Enough of your what? arrogance, no good, Tora! Oh shit. What? Mm. As if anyone would actually vote for you! Are you planning to embezzle funds again? Or maybe criticize one of your constituents again? 
You criminal! No, Jesus that, Christ! That, that was all in the past. What was all in the past? Oh, I've gone and done it again. What? Let's campaign obstruction. Yes, but I cannot say that to the crowd before an election. Regardless, yeah. whenever someone calls me no good Torah, I panic. Mm. I went through quite an ordeal 20 years ago. What happened? Let me explain. All right. I used to be a member of the National Diet. Yeah, you told me about I that. I was elected during the rise of the Kuramoto children. We were backed by powerful Diet members. This mm. was about 20 years ago. All right. I was very inexperienced back then, both as a politician as well as a human being. Dang. That inexperience led me to be involved in a series of major political scandals. Oh. People refer to my blunders as no good Torres three strikes. Damn. The first was being caught missing a legislative meeting to take a personal vacation. Oh shit. Then I was accused of embezzling a large sum of money from the party, giving me two strikes. Finally, mm -hmm. I called a voter an idiot at an open forum, which resulted in scandal and strike three. Oh shit. I was out and branded a washed up politician. Mm. You said you wanted to become a member of the Diet. But do you see the man before you? Yeah. A uh, questionable background, accused of embezzlement. However, he has conviction and wants to change the world. Public speaking skills could be useful to the families, so I'll make a deal with him. Do you really okay. want to receive my guidance? Of course I do. I don't care about your past. I'm happy to hear that. However, everyone says I have no chance to get elected. So why come to me? Come on, you just gotta try harder. Yeah, have confidence in yourself, dude. <laughs> You're doing a good job of cheering me up. But you yeah. may be right. Yeah, there's still hope. The most important part about giving a good speech is believing in yourself. Yeah. Perhaps one day, I will believe in myself again. But you should okay. have got me there. You're a strange young man. I'm just gone. Very well. If learning how to give a great speech is what you seek, then I'd be happy to instruct you. In awesome. exchange, I would like for you to continue assisting me. Of course. Let's get started, shall we? Yep. I've made a deal with Yoshida. Oh no. Back to the present. Staging your crimes with calling cards. It's hard to believe that a student could manage this alone. Oh, yeah, true. An adult. For example, someone talented enough to move people with words. Perhaps they coached you. No. Isn't that right? No. Not at all. I what are you talking thou. about? Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. Yeah, it yeah, shall yeah. become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. Mm -hmm. With the birth of the sun persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Okay. Sun. Rank right. one. Let's pursue your dream of becoming a member of the Diet. All right. Oh my, we've been talking for far too long. Let's call it quits for today. Uh, sure. Well yeah. then, I shall see you again soon. Same for you. I'll talk to you later. All right. May 26th. Yeah. I saw someone famous in Shibuya yesterday. That parliamentarian from when I was a kid, Toronosuke something. Yup, 
Tornosuke Yoshida. Oh, Tornosuke Yoshida. Or as most folks know him, no good Torah. He hangs out at train stations giving speeches these days, but no one pays him any mind. He used to be a rising star in politics. Oops. Oh, whoops. But wound but wound up involved in scandal after scandal. Huh? Yeah. I saw him in line for food. It was weird seeing a politician eating at the same place as we do. In the end. Well, that's probably his new gimmick, right? Pandering to middle class people. Come on, Yoshi is amazing, you guys. Come the fuck on now. Jeez. Sometimes I see people writing exactly the same things on their essays. Don't think you can get away with copying stuff from some website. I'll know. Got it. Stealing someone's ideas is plagiarism. It's as much of a crime as stealing anything else. Okay. It's so annoying dealing with copyright crap these days. Oh yeah, did you know this? So you know how Sir Arthur Conan Doyle has the famous character Sherlock Holmes. One time, another author used Holmes in his own story without permission, and Doyle protested. Ah, then, terms Con. Do you know the answer? What was the name of the other famous novel that Sherlock Holmes appeared in? Uh, Arsene Lupin, Gentleman Burglar. Well done. Oh, do you like mystery novels? Uh, yeah, 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 I like mystery novels. You're right, it's the ultimate shutdown between the gentleman thief and the famous detective. But afterward, Maurice LeBlanc, the author of the Lupin series, changed Sherlock's name in his books. He changed it to Herlock Sholmes. He just moved the S to the start of his last name. Hey, did you know that? I had no idea. Maybe he actually is smart, I'm kind of surprised. Oh shoot, a teacher is glaring at us. Nice wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Hell yeah I am, bro. Hell yeah! Got knowledge to rank two. Alright. Fuck yeah. Both Lupin and Holmes would go on to appear in a number of other works. But those were homages, not plagiarism. Now, Arsene Lupin is synonymous with the idea of a phantom thief. He's recognized all over the world. Wow, it looks like some Phantom Thieves never go out of style. Yeah. Guess not. <laughs> Alright, after school. Well, the pollen's bad today. <laughs> Lots of people are suffering from pollen allergies. Might be affecting mementos, too. What are we doing today? I can't just sit around. Shopping at the underground mall should be right now. I'll still be in Shibuya for a little, little while, so let me know if anything comes up. I'm good. Alright. Let's head to the diner. Hold on. Bookshop? Yeah, bookstore? Please take your time. Yeah. I'll get some more. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome, bro. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, oh. Diner. If I stay here, I might be able to gain more knowledge. You do have money on you, right? Let's go in. Yeah, got a ton of money on me. It's pretty busy around here. Welcome. May I take your order? Uh... I'll take hot coffee, please. I got it. I'll be right back with your order. Thank you. Mm. Hey, how many cups does that make? Man. I can't believe you just... You stayed this long ordering just coffee. <laughs> You've got some guts. Yeah, I do. All right. Still haven't ranked hey. up. It looks like you were able to focus even with all this noise. Yeah. Whoa! All right. Wanna head back? Well, that should be enough for today. Come on, let's go home. All right. Then. Ah, you're back. Hey. 
Actually, didn't Kyle Kami give you her phone number? You going to call her? Uh, just a public phone. I struck on the maid's delivery service. Yeah. I don't have the right guts, Morgana. Alright. Talk to the Sergio. You find an interesting coffee brewing? If you'll help, I can teach you. What are you going to do? Will you help the chief out? Yeah. Help yeah. him out. Then you clean up. I'm going to f finish preparing the curry. Okay. All right then. All right, that's it for tomorrow's curry. Hey, how's it going? Better? You getting any better at remembering how to handle different bean types? Now then, there are three factors that determine the flavor for a cup of coffee: grind, heat, and time. The first step is the grind. For the siphons we have here, we're aiming for medium fine. Are you listening to me? What grinder are you supposed to use? Medium fine. Alright, keep up the good work. It doesn't net much profit given the effort it takes, but hey, money is money. I'm not gonna forgive you if you serve our customers crap coffee though. Just remember that. Okay, who could this be? Yes, hello. <clears throat> How'd you get this number? Now? Where? Fine. Sorry. Sorry, something just came up. We can keep going with the lessons some other time. Is it a date? If only. Uh, just do the dishes while I'm gone. Oh, and remember to shut off the gas before you close up shop. It's nice having someone around to help at times like this. Turns out you're actually a harder worker than I thought. Keep it up. I feel like my bond with Sojiro is growing deeper. Nice. Rank three. All right. Awesome. The rest is on. Okay, I'm off. Don't eat all our food while I'm gone. I won't. You can trust me. All right. Next day. Hello? Ah, it's you. Marama is ill, but the exhibit is still going. I can't respect him as my sensei anymore, but it's sad to think I don't have a mentor anymore. I'm all ears if you need me. Oh? Talk? To you? Now that... Now that I think about it, I don't believe I've ever had someone I could simply talk to. Well, perhaps I may need a sounding board sometime. I hope you'll humor me then. Yeah. Oh well. Alright. After school. What the? Yo! I've been looking into Yamashu lately, thought I'd give you an update. Apparently he's been hanging out at the Manjayaki shop a lot. I heard he gets real drunk there and brags to his co-workers. Ain't this a good chance for us? If we can get close, we might get some intel out of him. Good luck. I'm not doing this alone, you know. I'm gonna need your help, dude. He knows me, so I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere near him. But that ain't the case for you. I bet you could even sit next to his booth if you wanted, probably. So, I'll let you know once I figure out when he's going drinking. Till then, we're gonna put a hold on our training. Well, I'll be counting on you. Alright then. I guess I'll just head to the diner again. You have money on you, right? Yeah, let's go in. Take your time. Hmm. It's very busy around here. Welcome. May I take your order? Alright, hot coffee. Again. I got it. I'll be right back with your order. Hmm. Hey, how many cups does that make? Man. I can't believe you stayed this long just to order coffee. Hmm. You've got some guts. Yep, I understand that. Yeah. All right. Hey. It looks like you were able to focus even with all this noise. 
Yep. Whoa. All right. All right. Head back? Well, that should be enough for today. Come on, let's go home. All right. Yeah, let's go. Ah, you're back. Imachi said he's going to go drinking at that matcha restaurant. You'll go with me to help investigate undercover, right? So what's going to be? Will you listen to Ryuji's request? Yeah, go with Ryuji. Sure thing. Alright, I'm counting on you. Tsukishima. A waterfront district surrounded by canals, famous for its manchiyaki, a style Japanese flavor. Tsukishima's famous manjayaki will remind you of the good old days. Alright. Heh. <laughs> if anything, Little Big Plant 2 and Dinosaur 7 remind me of the good old days. The teachers who's with him has shit on me too. Sorry, but I'm going gonna be hiding in the bathroom. Please, Harold. Just leave your phone on so I can hear what they're saying. Wow, you can really hold your liquor, you mouchy. Mm-hmm. Mm. I've had some experience. Back in my college days, we'd rent a yacht for the weekend and have massive parties. I must say though, the sake's been tasting particularly sweet lately. No surprise there, things have been much calmer without Kamoshida. Those were some real dark times for Shujin Joe, though, huh? But now that he's gone, you finally get the chance he deserved, Yamauchi. Don't fire me, haha. <laughs> he had his strength, sure. But because of him, our volleyball team will be forever scarred. The only real option now is to abandon it completely. There has there has to be a way to bring Shujin back into the limelight, though. That's where I come in. You mean with the track team, right? The students who went through so much hardship under Kamoshida rise again with a caring new advisor. It'll be the rebirth, rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. Despite my lack of track and field knowledge, I'll form a tight bond with the students. I'll be the protagonist of my very own tearjerker. And of course, all the praise for reviving them will go to me, their incredible loving advisor. I'll have to hire a great coach if I want to pull this off though. So you're gonna pretend to coach them while someone else does all the legwork? Amazing, Yamauchi! Such stunning achievements will look great when it's time to hand out bonuses. But I'm not gonna stop there either. I'll publish books, give motivational speeches. What about all the troublemakers on team? I've heard that Nakalka kid is especially bad. Nakalka? Oh, you mean the one who asked them to bring the pre Kamoshida coach back? Don't worry, I've already taken care of him. There's this other boy on team, Takeshi, doesn't really excel in much of anything. Well, I said I would make him the new captain if he could get rid of that troublemaker, Nakalka. I might have mentioned something about how Nakalka was working with Kamashita too. Subtly, of course. And what ended up happening? Apparently, Takeshi chased him away. The plan worked perfectly. And the best part is, not only are Takeshi's parents loaded, but his mother's the president of the PTA. I see. He'd make a great pawn. Perhaps. But a nothing like him could never captain a successful championship winning team. He may have to have an unfortunate accident at practice one day, but until then he can show the others the value of obedience. <laughs> You're incredible. Damn it! That effing asshole. If we don't do something quick, Yamachi's gonna get rid of Takeshi too. God damn it. Should we change his heart? I really wanna, but that'll probably just mess up the track team's comeback. I don't want to cause them more problems, so they're just gonna have to deal on. They're just gonna have to decide on their own. Hey, you know, track in a team sport, at least sprinting, wasn't. You've got teammates, sure, but you're really just looking out for your own time. That's why I never thought about asking people for help or trying to solve our problems together. Again. But I can't ignore the stuff they're going through now. I mean, even though we had our own goals and shit, we're still running together. They suffered with me, gritted their teeth with me. Honestly, I think it was only because of them I was able to run at all. 
<laughs> so I can't just go and turn my back on him now, right? I know that ain't the coolest thing to say, but it's how I feel. I think it's cool, Ryuji. Yeah. Huh? For real? Thanks, man. I feel like my bond with Ryuji is drawing deeper. Yeah. Chance to instantly win a battle after a successful ambush. All right. Okay. Ryuji can now use insta kill. Wait. Anyways, I'm starving. Let's eat some manja while we're here. Right now, all I've seen of this place is the goddamn toilet. <laughs> True. Thanks for hanging with me, man. You're welcome. Alright, then. Twenty-eighth. What are your plans for today? I'm wandering around Shibuya. I'm feeling kind of restless. I'll still be in the station for a bit, so let me know if anything comes up. It seems like Lady On hasn't gone home yet. Wanna go see her for a bit? I'm good. Hmm. We'll head to the diner again, and then I'll end this gameplay video off. Alright. You have money on you, right? Yeah, let's go in. It's pretty busy around here. Yep. Welcome. May I take your order? Hot cough, please. Got it. I'll be right back with your order. Thank you. Hey, how many cups does that make? Man. I can't believe you stayed this long ordering just coffee. You got some guts. Thank you. Still at level one. It looks like you were able to focus even with all this noise. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. Wanna head back? Well, that should be enough for today. Come on, let's go home. All right. Yeah. Whew. Ah, you're back. Yep. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna end the gameplay right there. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Or it helps out a lot and from the game videos every day. But anyways, guys, I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.